toxins. The only way that you can confront a disease or a problem is that you have to, number one, know what type of disease that you're fighting. The reason why we go through so much that we have not been diagnosed, Brother Earl. See, our situation and our problem have not been diagnosed. So that we don't know, therefore we don't know how to fight it. When you're dealing with toxins within the body, all toxins are purified through the kidney. Because the kidney's responsibility is to purify the blood once again. There is a cycle that it must go through in order to be purified. If the kidney dies or cannot work, then those toxins cannot release from the body. So toxins is a poisonous substance produced by living cells or organisms that is active and very low in concentrations. So that's why if you have kidney failure, the body begins to shut down because it's full of toxins. Some of you have spiritual kidney failure. You are filled with so much toxin that when something of the spirit comes, it cannot dissect it or break it down because your spiritual kidney is not functioning. So toxins can be small molecules or peptides or proteins and are capable of causing disease on contact or absorption with the body tissues by interacting with biological macromolecules such as enzymes or cellular receptors. Toxins vary greatly in their severity, ranging from usually minor and, a, minor and acute, which is like a bee sting. You get a bee sting and then you have whatever is not as bad. But to almost immediately deadly is botulinum toxin, like deadly spiders, snakes. There are some shellfish you can't eat because of the toxins. Your body just can't fight it. So toxins are simply poisons. Now watch this. What does the word poison mean? It is simply a substance that through its chemical action usually kills, injures, or impairs an organism. So if your organism is full of toxins, it cannot function. Watch. So when we deal with an organism, we're saying that it is something, or a poison is simply something that is destructive or harmful, an object of aversion or abhorrence, a substance that inhibits the activity of another substance or the course of a reaction or process. Some of you are miserable and feeling bad and you're feeling sad, you're feeling melancholy, and sometimes you feel like you're out your head. Now, if you be real, you know I'm telling the truth. Sometimes you feel like, it, where, where, where am I? And yesterday we, we, we had to move, we were moving you know, out of our house, we were moving everything. And my son probably never worked that hard. Because it wasn't on me, it was just us three and my wife. When I woke John up this morning, John didn't know where he was. He was like, where is my daddy? We were in prayer. We were looking for John. He was still sleeping in the car. When I went out there, he was like, I don't know where I'm at. I'm just. <laughs> no way he was. Because they had never worked like that before. See, they had never been through something. They had never been, been out of their head before. Be so tired that you had to get up and still go. 
And I still had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and talk to Jesus. And I was out of my head. But the only way I could come back in was to slowly focus, God, Jesus, I need your strength. And speak to him to come back into the real. So the devil has tricked you and caused you to believe that God likes where you are in the situation that you're in. But I tell you that that's a trick of the enemy. See, what you're going through, that situation that you're in, the joker wants you to feel that Jesus is pleased with your suffering and your pain and your uneasy feelings. God is not pleased with that. God's not concerned about just the pain you're in, but how you praise him in the pain. See, praise brings validation from God. You go to the hospital, you get one of those tickets, you go out, and all for you to go back through again, you have to get it validated. And you have to do what? You have to pay or get it validated. So it's the same way. And all for God to validate your ticket or your situation or your blessing, he has to validate you. God has to, when you praise him, that's your validation. That's your pay. So what he does is he stamps it. And allows you to go through. All right, all right. Come on. But what God is trying to do is remove the ugly things in your life. So that you can be pure and open to receive what God is about to bless you with. Put into your life and overtake you with. We have been through so many trying things in the past few months. We've been through so many things and we've faced so many problems. In the past few months. And we just wanted to give up. But see. What you're going through is not about you. Watch this. The body can only handle so much. Before shutting down. The only time God can get your attention. Is when he shut your body down. Make you so tired. That you got to rest. You have no choice. You can't, uh, honey, I can't go out today. You take the children. I got to lay down. I've been working three, hour, three five, 12 hours back to back. I got to lay down. If I don't lay down, I'm going to be irritable. Yeah. You better hear me. The body can only handle so much before shutting down. But look at this. When I say body, it's not just about, just talking about personality, but overall. And it's simply talking about the body of Christ. When the body of Christ is going through so many hits. Turn over to Romans chapter 12. Turn there. When the body is taking so many hits. The Ted Hagger situation. Juanita Bynum situation. The Colorado church last week just got shot. All those people got shot in there. That's not affecting. It's affecting the body. Y'all not seeing it. See, he's affecting the body. Watch this. The, 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 lady, the lady in the church, when, when, when the husband said that she said she was missing, she was lying the whole time. And as a big pastor, it's affecting the body. Oh, man, y'all don't see it. It, it, is, it is affecting the body, the overall body of Christ. When the body, see, I just said it. When the body needs to get closer to God, it starts to shut down. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, you seeing them. Preachers are going through so many problems right now. They're going through so many situations because they are facing so many hits from the body. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. According as God had dealt to every man that measure of faith. So God measures our faith. He gives each of us a certain point that we have to deal with. There's certain things that you got to go through because God is driving you to something new. Yes. 